Good morning, everyone. So today we're going to be doing an updated uh, houseplant tour because I've got so many different plants and things are changed, things are different. So you can see here, these are all my guys. These, This is my Raven, the black ZZ plant. Um, What was that called? A, uh, Pothos. We've got a berry arrowhead illusion plant and a moon plant down here. These guys have all gotten so big. You can see once he starts to get a little bit bigger, I'm going to start, I've got some clips, some command clips. I'm going to start um, guiding him up around the door. Uh, uh oh, this guy is starting to grow. There we go. Oh, look, he's starting to grow a different way because I cut him. Interesting. So I cut this guy to propagate him. And now look at, he's got a whole new little. So right here, if you get the, the leaves, you can slip little jewels on these plants. If you get them like right here, you could slip it on this. Um, and they turn out like this. You get these little beautiful things on them and they don't obstruct the plant at all so over here we've got Mr. Deffenbaca um, I've got a spider plant over there now I usually open this window like so so everything gets adequate light you can see how much brighter it is in here with um, that window open or that curtain <clears throat> so in here we've got fiddle leaf fig philodendron birkin we've got a dracaena tree here we've got the monstera you guys this monstera is so big i love it it's so beautiful um it recently i had it on the porch all summer uh, well, I bought it midsummer, and I kept it on the porch, and it did not like the heat and the porch and the sun. Um, and all the leaves, they were kind of like this or like this. They just weren't happy. As soon as I brought him inside, he started to give me these beautiful Swiss cheese leaves. So, such a gorgeous plant. Over here we've got this fiddle leaf fig. Look how much this fiddle leaf fig has grown, you guys. I don't know if you guys remember me buying this um, near the end of summer at Lowe's, but look how much it's grown. So it is two plants, but it's, it's just beautiful. Here we've got our philodendron birkin, and look at this leaf. Isn't that amazing? It just came out like that by itself. It is misshapen. It's like totally different than all the other leaves. This is what it should look like. When they first come out, they're usually pure white like this. And then as they age, they get more of the green coloring on them. Uh, but this leaf is totally different. It's shaped different. It's obviously colored very differently. It's interesting. Here we've got the Dracaena tree. This guy has grown so much. You can see he's got more new growth, but he has gotten so freaking big. I've had this guy, this is the plant I've had the longest. I've had him for three or four years. When I bought him, he was very small. Down here we have got this, uh, this plant, I'm not sure what it's called. If you guys know, let me know. I think it's like a bunny tree or something. I don't know. But this is its new growth. Very strange looking. Got a eucalyptus. Got the jasmine tree, which always looks really sad at this time of year. Um, it starts to drop off its all its leaves and it looks like it's uh, about to die, but Fear not, worry not, it is not dying. Um, it's just going to sleep for the winter. So she will pick back up in the spring beautifully and start to flower again, so I'm not worried. 
this fiddle leaf fig is at least seven feet now. You can see it's continuing to get new leaves. Uh, every day I kind of, when I walk past it, I kind of just shake him because it helps his stem get woody. Um, see up here near the top, the stem is not woody. It's very, um, it moves a lot, you know? So for it to get woody and strong, you kind of just want to bump it a little bit, you know, here and there. That's all you want to do, just bump it here and there. So over here, this is a Phoenix Robolini that we bought Mark's boss last year and he had it for exactly one year and when he brought it back to me, it was half dead. So I've been nursing this guy back to health. He's looking a little better. He was very dry and I think the Russell is Mark's boss name. I think Russell just kept forgetting to water him or didn't have him um, on a, a schedule for watering. Um, so he was very dry and I actually don't even know if it's still alive. Um, but we're letting it sit here and do what it does and we will see. This is the last plant that Mark bought for me. He surprised me with this. This is a bird of paradise. As you can see, it's got another leaf coming in right here. I love this plant. Um, right here, we've got this begonia. This begonia is so big, you guys. Um, very beautiful. Jigsy, <laughs> what are you doing down there, Jigsy? Huh? Look at this little kid. Jigsy, what you doing? But yes, um, the begonia is just massive, loving its life. And I do have cuttings of this begonia right here. So you can see that there's some um, leaves under the water. So it makes me think these might be um, like a good aquatic plant. But yeah, these are good cuttings from that guy. Still have to plant those up. Down here you can see I am attempting to grow an avocado tree. This seed has taken forever to crack open. Um, but we're getting there. This begonia is looking super sad. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> this Kalanchoe or Kalancho flowering for the first time since I bought it. Beautiful. We've got the Japanese maple looking not so great, but we're, we're nursing her back to health too. Here we've got Swedish Ivy. Look how beautiful and big she's looking. This right here is the newest plant that I got. I bought this guy last night from um, Food City. This is called Silver Sand Caliocephalus. I have never seen this plant. I always find the rarest or most um, distinctive plants at Food City. I bought, let's see, I bought that plant, the jasmine plant from Food City. I got, I got a few other ones from Food City, but they're always my, um, let's see, I got that Cleome right here, this Persian wildflower. You can see it's doing really good up here. Okay. Back there, we've got a dragon's tongue. I love this plant. Uh, you can see the underside of the leaves are like this maroon color. And the top side is this uh, really dark green. It is such a beautiful plant. It flowers in the summer. It has little tiny white flowers. Right here, this is a um, pineapple, no, yeah, pineapple sage, I think. I dug it up 
from outside in the garden because I wanted to save it because it would have died in the winter. We've got African violet, African violet. We've got a bunch more African violets back there. This guy is flowering. Look at his beautiful flowers. They are white and pink, obviously. Very beautiful. We've got a shamrock or oxalis right here. You can see he's got a bunch of beautiful little flowers. This is a crimson sage right here. Again, I dug it up from the garden so it would stay alive. These are wandering dude um, cuttings that I just planted up. This is a pot that one of you beautiful subscribers gave me. Um, you actually made this and I adore it. I love it. I would love to learn how to do pottery. Um, up here, this guy, I can't remember what this guy is called, but Mark got this one for me. Got all my little air plants in there. They're all rooted into the orchid bark. Um, so if you have air plants, get some orchid bark because that is what they love. They will grow way bigger um, if you've got them in bark as opposed to just like in nothing like I had them before. Up here, these are the other air plants all doing fabulous. I just, um, every few days, I will take a little spray bottle and I will just spray them down like this because they drink water through their um, foliage. Just like that. Now these air plants, they love to be outside in the humidity. In the summer, they just, they flourish, they get enormous they love outside they color up inside not so much so up here on the top we've got a begonia back there another Kalanchoe Kalancho <coughs> the reason I have so many Kalancho is because I I just was buying things that I didn't have in the beginning it's not that I like them per se I mean I do but like you know Back here we've got a money tree that is slowly dropping off its foliage for the winter. It does that every winter though, so we're not concerned. Kalancho. Uh, donkey tail sedum, you guys. Look how big this sedum has gotten. When I first bought this sedum, it was so small. We've got this... Um, succulent here I don't know what he's called we've got a sh uh, purple oxalis purple shamrock this is what was this guy called I can't remember you guys we've got some um, echeverias right here these little guys just living their lives we've got a jade plant right here and I am so surprised at the growth of this jade plant for the first few years that I had that jade plant you guys it did not grow at all like no growth on it and for the past year or so it started to really pick up on growth which is great we got a cutting of the donkey tail sedum here this is what I call my little nursery these are all baby succulents um, these leaves here are from this panda plant. Uh, it's, you know, you can see here, it's got a bunch of babies in there with it. So yeah, very cute. Uh, I love the coloring on it. It's so beautiful. Um, and we've got a few other little succulents in there too. But yeah, they're all doing good. This is some patchouli seedlings. Uh, they'll stay kind of small like this all winter. And then as soon as it gets warm enough, I can plant them outside and they will grow fabulously. So that's all those plants up there. So let's move to the windowsill over here. Um, this did have ginger in it, but the ginger died. This is a African violet. This is, um, 
What are these guys called? Oh gosh, I can't remember. Uh, but they're a. Uh, they are native here. They they are native, not native, but they are. You can grow them here as a perennial, basically outside. And um, I found a cutting of this guy. I found a big, huge plant down the road uh, in somebody's yard. Nobody lived there, obviously. Um, and so I took a little cutting, and he's been growing. When I took a cutting, it was only this part right here. And these two little guys grew. See, this one was growing off the top here. He looked like a little Mickey Mouse. Here we've got the coleus clippings from outside. Um, somebody asked me how you propagate coleus. You just take a cutting, you could put it in water or you can plant it right away. And both of them, they'll both root in and you'll have another plant. They're very easy to, to, to uh, propagate. So same with Wandering Dude. These are more propagating um, cuttings. This here is my little elephant bush. It's gotten a lot of growth on it. This is one of my newer Thanksgiving cactuses. It's a white one, white, light, white, no, white and light pink. This here is some lupine that I'm growing. And somebody did ask me again, how do I keep bugs out of my plants? You guys, I'm just like everybody else and I have got fungus gnats. If you look really closely in here, you can probably see some. Oh, look, there's one right there. But yeah, I've got fungus gnats. You know, I, I don't know how to get rid of them. I've tried um, sprays. I've tried, you know, changing the soil and nothing really seems to work. So I, you know, I don't know. If you've got a tip, you can let me know. <laughs> this is the other Thanksgiving cactus. She was in glorious bloom around Thanksgiving. Um, we've got another scarlet, uh, scarlet sage, a Haworthia here, African violet, Calancho. This is a nerve plant, creeping Jenny, and some more clippings. My Haworthia, when I bought my Haworthia, he was in this pot and I love how this guy kind of looks a little disgusted or angry or like what the fuck <laughs> more clippings of the wandering dude right here we've got the prayer plant look how fabulous and big she has gotten and then up here we've got the pothos and you could see she has climbed all the way out here um you can see i've got little little ornaments on it and then in the kitchen this is where the rest of the plants are we got two spider plants there we've got an, another defenbacher orchid aloe vera pilea um, Flamethrower coleus, African violet, and here is the uh, wandering dude plant that was in my bedroom, uh, and its its growth was all the way down here hanging, so I had to give him a, a haircut. Um, this guy, cordyline, not looking so good, uh, but we'll see. We'll see how that guy does, and then in my bedroom. I have got the other Dracaena. Look how much better he's looking. Um, for the longest time, his growth was like looking like this. He wasn't really putting on a lot of new growth, but now he is. He loves my bedroom. So you can see here, I leave the windows open in the day to let the plants get some light. We have another spider plant in here. And also, I've got this guy here. This is a um, variegated ficus. So he's dropping off his leaves too, but not as drastically as he usually does. I love this plant. It's so beautiful. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my updated 
plant tour. <laughs> and I will see you guys tomorrow. I love you all. Bye.